Hello again, brothers and sisters. Michael, humble seeker of truth. For Rapture and Apocalypse, Tis the Season, Part 2. I forgot to mention in Part 1 that uh, Holly Angel um, had left me a comment and kind of steered me toward Jeremiah 10. Thanks, Holly. That uh, very, very interesting. So we're going to go back farther into Jeremiah now that we have some context. If you haven't heard part one, please go back and watch it. Um, so let's start in Jeremiah 2. <clears throat> and let's start in verse 23. Now remember Genesis 1.14. God put the sun, moon, and stars in the heavens for signs and seasons. We saw signs and we saw the tide to... Uh, Strong's 2, 26, 200 days from the Day of Atonement to the 26th of December, the 4th slash 5th day of Hanukkah, and uh, 79 days from the Day of Atonement. It's used 79 times. What about seasons? Seasons is uh, used 223 times. Both those words, signs and seasons, have a literal meaning of signals. They mean a couple other things, appointed times. Strong's 2.23, Seasons is Moed, Appointed Time Set Beforehand, Signals. So in Jeremiah 2.23, well that's an interesting place to start, I think. The Saros Cycle, oh there's an eclipse on the 26th of December. Uh, Saros Cycle has to do with measuring those, it's a cycle or a... Uh, no, I don't remember the other term. A cycle. 223 lunar months. Very interesting. Jeremiah 2, verse 23. How canst thou say, I am not polluted? I haven't gone after Balaam. How can you say that? Except the Lord. How can thou say I'm not polluted and have not gone after Balaam? See thy way in the valley, knowest what thou hast done? Thou art a swift dromedary traversing her ways. A uh, dromedary is a young she camel. Balaam, do you know that Strong's number 1980? 19, 2019, 80, 80 days to the 26th from the Day of Atonement when verdicts rendered. Maybe. We'll know when we know. We don't know the day and hour, but God has emphatically marked this out. And if it's not for the day of the Lord, then he will give wisdom when we need it. And he'll keep us watching. And he will keep drawing us to him. What a joy and privilege. This is amazing. How canst thou say, I am not polluted, I have not gone after Balaam? See thy way in the valley. That word, see is Strong's number 7,200. Psalm 94, when a thousand years, a thousand years in thy sight are as but yesterday when it is past and as a watch in the night, January 21st, 2000. 7,200 days. Pictured by Jacob and his wives in the cattle. 20 years times 360, full circle prophetic years is 7,200 days to the Day of Atonement 2019 verdict rendered 80 days from there is the 26th of December Balaam number 1980 oh by the way it's used 80 times Wow. 
Verse 24, a wild ass uses the wilderness that snuffs up the wind at her pleasure. And in her occasion, who can turn her away? All they that seek her will not weary themselves. In her month, they shall find her. Verse 25. Withhold thy foot from being unshod and thy throat from thirst, but thou saidst, there is no hope, no. For I have loved strangers, and after them will I go. That's you 77 times, strangers. Loved, have loved, is adultery slash idolatry. Verse 26, Jeremiah 2, 26. As the thief is ashamed when he is found, so is the house of Israel ashamed, they, their kings, their princes, and their priests, and their prophets. Verse 27, saying, to a stock. Stock equals tree. Thou art my father. And to a stone. Thou hast brought me forth, for they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble they will say, Help! Save us! But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise, if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. For according to the number of the cities are thy gods of Judah. Verse 32. In both these parts, I've skipped verses because it just, I'm trying to, of course, highlight, I probably don't even need to say this, but uh, without making it uh, too lengthy. Verse 32. Can a maid forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people have forgotten me days without number. What I want to show you here is not just numerically how this is <laughs> I find it amazing but also again what we learned in part one about the timing of things the beginning of Jacob's trouble tied to this ritual of cutting out trees standing them up and, and uh, decorating them trimming them I'm going to show you the language of that ritual that we know as Christmas is straight from the Word of God so I want you to understand the figures here it's not always directly talking about that okay but the language is just jumps out at me that stocks is trees we saw that okay verse 32 can a maid forget her ornaments <clears throat> Verse 33, why trimmest thou thy ways to seek love? Trimmest. Trim the tree. Decorate with ornaments. Also in thy skirts is found the blood of souls of the poor innocents. Well, this trees get a skirt on the bottom, don't they? Go to chapter 3, verse 6. The Lord said also unto me in the days of Josiah the king, Hast thou seen that which backsliding Israel hath done? She has gone up upon every high mountain and under every green tree. Ever green tree? And there hath played the harlot. Verse 9, and it came to pass through the lightness of her whoredom that she defiled the land and committed adultery with stones and with stocks, and stocks is trees. Verse 13, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers 
under every green tree. And you have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Verse 14, turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, for I will take you one of a city, two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. One of a city and two of a family. What's, is there a figure there? Well, God's taking, these are the ones God's taking. One of a city? Do you know in that resurrection of the first fruit, Matthew 27, 52, 53? And in Jerusalem, many arose from the dead. After our Lord did. Wave sheaf, our Lord Jesus Christ. The believers raised up first fruits. In Jerusalem, it says in Jerusalem, one of a city, two of a family, because after the atoning work of Jesus Christ and the day of Pentecost, when Holy Spirit was made available, God made of two, Jew and Gentile, one new man, so making peace. Behold the hand, behold the nail, two hands three-part harvest model four nails four three two Yahweh behold the hand behold the nail four nails wave sheaf first fruits same day three days of the Lord destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up one of a city Two of a family. <laughs> wow, I love God's word. He is amazing. Jeremiah 8, verse 7. Yea, the stork in the heaven knows her appointed times moed number two two six number two two three sorry yea the stork in heaven knows her appointed times and the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the time of their coming but my people know not the judgment of the lord that turtle is turtle dove Two turtle doves. <laughs> no, I won't sing the whole song for you. I'm sure you're thankful for that. If not, you would be. Um, verse 8. How do you say we are wise and the law of the Lord is with us? Lo, certainly in vain made he it. The pen of the scribes is in vain. The wise men are ashamed, they are dismayed, and taken low, they have rejected the word of the Lord, and what wisdom is in them? Therefore will I give their wives unto others in their fields, to them that shall inherit them, for every one, from the least even unto the greatest, is given to covetousness. From the prophet even unto the priest, every one deals falsely. For they have healed the herd of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace peace when there is no peace it's in our face when they say peace and safety sudden destruction comes upon them beginning jacob's trouble the great tribulation Verse 12, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? No, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore, they shall fall among them that fall. In the time of their visitation, they shall be cast down, saith the Lord. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, 
no figs on the fig tree, and the leaf shall fade, and the things that I have given them shall pass away from them. That I find interesting. New understanding. So, in all the context we have now seen, and figures that tie to this season that is known as Christmas and to the 26th of December, 25th, 26th. I will surely consume them, saith the Lord. There shall be no grapes on the vine, nor figs on the fig tree. Now, I'm not in Jerusalem or Israel. I would think at this time of year that that is uh, what we would find. If you know differently, please message me and I will continue to try to understand that verse. I say again, not calling out a billion people celebrating Christmas. But I am trying to shed light on what is at the heart of it and what's coming look up for your redemption draws nigh